We're talking about um, the New Haven Marine Station, uh, which used to provide passengers access to the town's ferry terminal, but a consultation now launched into plans to close it because it hasn't had a single passenger for 14 years. That's because they don't allow passengers on that bit. But uh, when when it was moved closer to the New Haven Town Station, uh, passenger services into uh, New Haven Marine was scaled down eventually to zero uh, when the station closed over safety fears. Well, plans are now afoot to officially close the station to passengers, uh, using it for freight trains uh, access to the port instead. And the local MP, Maria Caulfield, joins us now. Hello, Maria. Good morning. Good morning. Um, is is there anybody who would want to keep this uh, this this r- railway station? Um, I, I don't, you know, I've not come across anyone as yet, but this is a, a formal process the government has to follow when it officially closes a railway station. Um, but also, it's a good opportunity for local people in New Haven to see that work is happening uh, around the port redevelopment, that uh, we are really serious about taking freight off the roads, which is a, a big headache, particularly around uh, the, the one-way system. Um, and so, you know, the moves are firstly, obviously, to uh, formally close the station, but it's it's also so that work can start um, on New Haven Port, where a new dock and freight handling facility uh, will be open um, in the future. Yes, this is a curious sort of quirk in legislation, isn't it? That, that you know, you, you haven't had a passenger there since 2006, but you still got to say, I'm not sure whether we should keep this open or not. I mean, it, it, it does seem a little bit bizarre, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, you know, some of the, the comments we've had um, from people who, you know, copy me into the formal consultation have been, you know, very constructive in the fact that they have, you know, obviously no problem with the station uh, being formally closed, but with suggestions about how we could improve uh, the rail experience for, for the other stations that are in New Haven. Because when you come off the station at New Haven, if you're a local, you know where you're going. But if you're a visitor or you're trying to get to the, the, the ferry itself, it's not that clear at the moment. And lots of people want to see improvements to the existing stations uh, and they're putting that in uh, fairly strongly in the response to the consultation on the uh, New Haven Marine Station uh, closing. So you wouldn't be getting rid of the line, well, that's the idea, not to get rid of the line but actually to use it for freight? Yeah, the port is very keen that we uh, extend the rail line fully into the port so that freight goods that are coming off the ferry, and the ferry is getting busier and and it's getting busier in terms of its freight load rather than foot passengers and uh, cars. Uh, And it really wants to obviously encourage uh, the use of freight on the ferry, but that those movements then come off the ferry and onto the train rather than onto the road. So extending the, the rail line into the port as much as you can right up to the ferry is something that this will enable us to do. So it's got um, some positive outcomes from formally closing the station. Thanks very much indeed, Maria Caulfield there, uh, the uh, the local MP. And if you want to be part of the consultation, they are looking for your comments now. Uh, it's on the gov.uk site.